Hello, this is Samuel from Action Figure Fury, and today I bring you a review of the Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men 20th Anniversary X-Men Origins Wolverine figures. This is the uh, standard retail release, Wolverine here, and this one is the Amazon exclusive. These came out earlier this year, just a few months ago, to celebrate X-Men's 20th Anniversary with a whole line of, um, well, X-Men characters. Uh, from the from the various X Men films, uh, released in conjunction with the film's 20th, 20th anniversary. Of course, you have these two two versions of Wolverine. You also had the Charles Xavier and uh, Magneto two pack, which I really want to get. The Mystique figure. Um, you also got the Deadpool and Negasonic Teenage Warhead uh, figure two pack from Deadpool two or one and two, I believe. You also could get Domino and Cable, and also there was the um, Logan X um, Logan SDC. Uh, two pack as well. So far, that's what we've got from the films. And I remember when they showed these figures off earlier this year at um, at Toy Fair, and I was blown away. I was really, really surprised that you know at last um, Mark Hasbro are doing Marvel Legends figures from the you know 20th century. Well, 20, uh, 20th century uh, Fox. Well, 20, it was called 20th century Fox. It's now called 20th century films. Um, X Men film. You know, X Men when, when they had the rights to X Men and Deadpool and stuff. So I was really surprised to see that and. Um, now having these in hand, these two in hand, I've got others for you, I've got Cable and um, uh, Deadpool and Negasonic on Teenage Warhead that haven't got out of packaging yet. I can see why people talk about these figures so highly, because they are absolutely excellent, and I'm hoping this just isn't it. I hope we see more uh, figures from the Fox films um, in this line, hopefully. I know they've got another version of Deadpool coming out, which is a bit more dusty from the end of Deadpool 1 or 2, I can't remember. I'll probably get, <laughs> I may get that one in a version of well. That's an Amazon exclusive, but I'm hoping we see more um, films, maybe from the original X-Men film, maybe X2. Um, not too sure about X-Men 3. Might be, you know, could, could see, actually, I wouldn't mind a, um, an X-Men 3, um, The Last Stand, a Beast figure. That'd be pretty cool. Hopefully, we may get some X-Men First Class, Days of Future Past, maybe some other films, Apocalypse, and um, hopefully get some more of those figures as well, hopefully, if um, it all works well. And I think these are big, big sellers, and um, from what I've received during reception of the other figures, they're absolutely terrific uh, figures, so I wouldn't be surprised. I would be shocked if this line, you know, just ends here, because, you know, they, Hasbro have really started something here with these figures, and I really, really want to see more. And, of course, now with the announcement with, with, with the, the um, third Spider-Man film that um, Sony and Disney are doing, um, and hearing the rumours of casting in it, I wouldn't be surprised if we somehow see some uh, characters from other older... Marvel films uh, get this sort of treatment as well. I did write an article about this, which I'll probably post in the um, description down below, so you can have a read of uh, my thoughts and what I would like to see down the line. But overall, let's get to this review. Um, and back here, I've got the boxes for these figures. This is the, for the retail version. This is for the Amazon exclusive uh, Wolverine figure. I just got these out today. I've had these in packaging for a couple of months. Finally, got them out of packaging today, and I have to say, I'm absolutely blown away these figures are absolutely incredible especially for the retail price you pay for them i know these are a bit more standard a bit more high, a bit higher price compared to some of the standard marvel legends these uh, on say for example on star action figures um usual marvel legends cost 1895 um this one costs 2195 i believe but he's well worth the bunny uh this one the amazon exclusive that came out a while ago it sold out very very quickly and i picked it up just about a month or two ago for about £23, which was a very reasonable price for an absolutely excellent Wolverine figure. I'm very, very happy to have both of these in my collection. Both of these are fantastic figures. I'll show off the regular version first. Um, I have to say, without a shadow of a doubt, the likeness on both of these figures to Hugh Jackman is superb, uh, especially for the price point you pay. The likeness is absolutely fantastic. I'm really, really blown away by how good these figures look in hand. These are <laughs> incredible looking figures. You know, maybe it's like I'm gushing, but I absolutely do love this. The, head, the likeness to you know, Hugh Jackman from X-Men Origins Wolverine is superb. They've got it down pat. I do love the, the big sideburns here. It goes into the beard. Absolutely marvellous. This is the outfit he wore in um, X-Men Origins Wolverine. But what was funny, when I first saw the figure, um, Toy Fun, they showed it off. I thought this was based on X Men because I know in the original X Men film, before he may as well look, you know, the black suit, you know, they all wear the black suits. He had an outfit similar to this, so I thought it was more based on that. But I know the hair's different, and obviously she was looking a bit older here. But it does look a bit like that. 
Um, I'm not a really big fan of X-Men Origins Wolverine, but I do like the outfit that Logan had in the film, which is this outfit. And I have to say, Hasbro knocked it out of the park. I know some people do complain about the, um, the extra paint that look like, look like dirt, but I have no gripes with that at all. It doesn't really, really good in my opinion. It looks quite natural. Even on the front here, it's very well done. Really like I do like the sort of uh, the sculpted and painted armbands on the jacket. Really good. It's got some more sculpted pieces here. Really, really nice. Beneath the jacket, you've got a plaid shirt with a vest beneath, which he's wearing there. And also, he's got that um, the iconic belt buckle. Really nice. The belt looks came out very clean too. And he's got these really cool looking jeans. I do love the texture work on these. I do look uh, nice and worn. Really, really nice. He's got his boots down here as well with the um, cuffs of the jeans over top. Really, really nice. Hasbro have done a, a marvellous job uh, with this. Thing. The paint and the sculpting is absolutely exceptional. The hair looks really well done too. There isn't there isn't so much of a wash over it. It's a bit more of a lighter wash. It's like um, it's got black. It's brown, but there's some slight darker brown or black highlights to it. You can just see on the top there to bring out the detail, and it looks really, really nice. Uh, the sideburns are well painted too. Got a bit of stubble there in the middle. Really, really good looking figure. This figure is absolutely exceptional. I just got these up just a moment ago and I was I'm absolutely blown away. Of course, an important part of the Wolverine figure is the claws. I know some people said the, um, the claws are very accurate to the film where the claws in the X-Men films, um, they're a bit thicker than the, his, you know, the claws he has in the comics. And they've done an exceptional job um, putting these in figure form. They're doing really good. They're nice and chunky which I do like, and they're very straight as well. Of course, like all the other Wolverine figures Hasbro have been releasing lately, you can easily take these out of the um, wrist, yeah, out of the, out the fists and put them back in. I'm not going to do that, but you can do that if you want to, but I find it completely unnecessary because comes. this figure does come with fisted hands, so it's completely unnecessary to do that. And then they do look really, really good. I do love how um, Hasbro have done these cores. They've done an exceptional job on them. And a way of articulation, uh, this figure of Logan Wolverine has a ball joint in the head. Uh, nothing in the neck down there. You can see it's, one, it's got the piece goes forward, go back a little bit, side to side. Really nice turns left and right, very nice. Um, they've got um, got butterfly joints in the shoulders, so you can get, they're slightly hindered by the jacket. You can go forward quite a bit, back a little bit. He's got a bicep swivel as well, which is really good. He's got double jointed elbows. Which is really really nice you can see more sculpted detail on the jacket there which is cool and on the wrists here he has a in and out motion on the wrist joint so you get in and out and you also can swivel so you got a full range of motion there you get wolverine some good um action poses um he has a ab crunch in the chest so it goes full back quite a bit slightly hindered by the jacket forward not so much of a problem he's also got a waist swivel He's got board jointed hips, so the feet, leg, leg, forward, feet go, leg can go forward like that. Back not too far, out quite a bit. He's also got a thigh swivel, so you can sort the thigh there, which works really well. And he's got double jointed knees, so you can go all the way back like that, which is excellent. Um, and also ankle rocking, ankle, so uh, you can go down, up and down on the left feet. Not too much though, because it's slightly hindered by the sculpt of the, the jeans go forward and also can rock from side to side a little bit so they're again slightly hindered by the jeans overall I'm very very impressed with the articulation with this Wolverine figure it is absolutely um, excellent in the way this Wolverine does come with some accessories both figures do as you can see here um, both of these figures do come with accessories uh, this figure of Wolverine sounds a bit funny I'm going back with yeah that's better now um, this figure of Wolverine comes with a I'm trying to get him to stand up before anything else um, trying to get him to stand up um, bit of a pain ah you stand up now uh, the way of it, uh, accessories has two has um, two clawed hands I'd have taken one off to make him different from the other one you can see a closer look at the other hand here looks really the claws look really really mean do love these Absolutely perfect. Hasbro have done a marvellous job on these claws. Really, really nice. He has a, also has an extra interchangeable hand for a fist. So if you don't want your Wolverine with claws out, you know, the fist option to you know, have clenched fists if you want. They easily, hands are really easy to swap. 
which is absolutely which is great for these and he also comes with an interchangeable head this is the head he had in packaging that came with a figure yet I changed it around because I, I thought the other head looked better now this head isn't bad by any means but the likeness I don't think is as strong as on the other head and um, personally I prefer the berserk head on that one um, well the angry rage head on that one but I have to say there's one. This one does look really good as well. If I can get the camera to focus, it just doesn't seem to focus today at all, which is a pain. I'm trying to get it to focus. It just doesn't. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Just trying to get, trying to get it to focus on the Wolverine's head. It's just. does and it doesn't want to focus hmm it does want to then it snaps out of it again it's really really irritating you can see um the likeness to Hugh Jackman is, is pretty good but not as good as the others the teeth came out very well, and the tongue, you see that all in there. Looks really, really nice. Hasbro have done a, a fantastic job with this one, but just, anyway, well, it just doesn't look as good as the other one, in my opinion. But the eyes that came out well, and the hair is the same. So, very nice. But I did have trouble changing the head over to this one. Because um, this, this head came off pretty darn easy. But to put this one on was a bit of a pain. But it, it, it does sit on there very well, and it turns, so... I'm very happy with that. I'm glad because I know some people did have problems with these uh, Marvel Legends where the head, when you try and interchange the head, the ball joint would get stuck in the head, so you would have a hard time taking out the peg and putting it back in to put the other head on. I'm glad uh, I lucked out and neither of my Wolverine figures have that problem. So I'm very, very happy with that. Overall, an absolutely excellent figure of Wolverine. Uh, this one was the Amazon exclusive. I, at first, I wasn't really interested in getting this one. Um, but when I watched reviews of it, it sold me on it, and I've then obviously found it then now available on Amazon. Thought I had to get it. I'm a big fan of Wolverine and Hugh Jackman's performance as Wolverine in, in all the uh, X-Men films is 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 excellent. One of the standout performances in those, and plus you know you can't go wrong with Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. He's excellent. So I had to get this one as well, even though I didn't really like the film because I was just more sold on the head sculpts in this one. And it's a slightly different look for him. So um, I really wanted to get it. And this figure does not disappoint. Uh, this figure looks absolutely incredible. I really, really do dig this one. Um, the, the, the detailing, the paint is absolutely near nigh perfect. The only problem I have with this one, again, this is a problem with all sort of flesh tone, well, flesh, you know, figures that are showing any skin at all, is you do get some of these marks, like here on the arm. You see a little uh, a black mark. You see a little black mark there. It doesn't really show up on camera, but in hand it does. It's a little bit irritating. But other than that, I don't really have a problem with it. But one, the other little snipe, little uh, snag is the vest. Uh, on the front, they've sculpted. But on the sides, they sort of neglected to sculpt uh, more of the um, the pattern on the shirt, on the on the uh, the vest. But they've done it at the back as well, but they haven't done the sides, which is a bit of a shame. But I can understand why they missed that. You know. It's just a small little tiny error. Other than that, uh, this figure is absolutely near nigh perfect in my opinion as you can see I've got the mean head on the more angry berserker rage style head I really do dig this head sculpt it's really really well done I do love the hair the more traditional wolverine hair on this one on this figure it's really really cool I do dig it it does replicate his classic look very very well and they've added a nice uh, darker wash to it if you can see it's nice it's a darker uh, more black wash I think it's brown with loads of black wash over it and it does look really really good I do love the little curls that come down here and also the the um, sideburns and the mutton chop sideburns are absolutely excellent I do love the, the face expression really really mean and aggressive uh, bearing all his teeth really really cool and Hasbro have done a really good job on that it looks absolutely uh, superb he's wearing got his uh, barely uh Bare, bare arms with the, with the vest on look really good. You can see some musculature in the arms, which is really really cool. Really do dig that. You can see some musculature there, all throughout. 
tank top looks really good no paint problems with that I do like it's sort of like a little bit dirty so add some variation to it really really nice um, belt so they got the same sort of jeans and belt but the jeans do look a bit lighter in tone compared to those ones the washing looks a bit lighter uh, which I don't have a problem with at all it's really really cool what that's wearing the same boots as well I do like the texture work on these jeans again Hasbro have done a marvellous job with it it's really really good I did have and also does come with some dog tags these are removable if you want to but I'll keep them on uh, the figure does look really good with them on uh, in the way of articulation this Wolverine has the same ball jointed head has the same uh, different uh, yeah, more you've got um, butterfly shoulders more range in them because he hasn't got the, the, the jacket He's not wearing a jacket on this one, so you, know, you get more more range with it, which is really nice. I go back with quite a bit, forward quite a bit, so you can get those lunge poses in. If you want, it's got a bike again, got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, which work really well. The wrists have got the same articulation in and out, which works perfect for Wolverine. Um, a swivel, uh, ab, a board joint, I mean, uh, an ab crunch here, so you go f not, then again, this one isn't hindered by the articulation, by the jacket, so it goes forward quite a bit backwards quite a way and again they continue to sculpt there which is really nice it's got a waist swivel board jointed hips same range again um, a swivel at the thigh double jointed knees the same yeah it's the same articulation as that wolverine um which is really really good um the way of accessories um this wolverine was diff quite different from that one because this also came with bone claws before he went to the weapon x program these do look really nasty and mean looking. I do like these kinds of a set of these, the bone claws. I know that they released bone claws with the uh, Wolverine with the... Is it the... It's a pack because of Wolverine, Jean Grey and Cyclops. I think those are different ones because these are more based on the film. These do look good. These hands again do swap in and out pretty easy. I do like the bone claws but I prefer them more and the look of the metallic ones. But it's nice to have that option if you want to have Wolverine pre uh, Weapon X program so yeah they are pretty cool fit nicely and also his other accessory is an interchangeable head this is the standard head that came on that pat on the figure I just changed it around for the review and for the display but this one does it really good again uh, Hasbro have really done a good job in capturing Hugh Jackman's likeness I was really hard trying to focus today it just wants to focus and it doesn't there we are. The yeah, likeness is pretty darn good. The hairstyle's a bit different. Got the hair, the curl coming down the side this time. Uh, more of a calm, composed Wolverine. Really, really nice. Really do dig this. Again, they've done a good job on the hair. Has we did a really good job with these uh, uh, Wolverine figures. These are absolutely uh, superb figures. I do love how the eyes shine and look really good, very natural. So, very happy with that. That's the accessories that Wolverine comes with. Overall, I have to say I'm very, very pleased, impressed with both of these figures. Especially for the price you pay. These are absolutely marvellous. Uh, the, the likeness on both is fantastic. The accessories are, are great. Absolutely perfect for what you want with a Wolverine figure. And I would definitely love to see more. As I che last checked on Star Trek figures, you still can get this Wolverine figure. I'm surprised it's still available because such an excellent looking figure. You can still get it here in the UK, which is great. As with this Wolverine, you can, as far as I know, you can still get it for about £23 on Amazon and it's well worth the money. And of course as well, these fit in with your MCU Marvel Legends figures. So you can have finally have a Wolverine, uh, <laughs> a film Wolverine to go with your film even though they're not in the same universe, you can display with them, and they look absolutely incredible. I haven't got any figures on hand to show how, how they size up, but I know these do fit and scale with those, which is absolutely perfect. I'm, I'm hoping we see more like figures from this from the older Marvel films. I'm hoping we see more, because if this, this, this is just a starter, and I have to say it's really whetted my appetite uh, to see more of the Fox, um, char you know, Fox Marvel characters in this in this style because these look absolutely excellent i'm definitely trying to get my hands on um the uh, mystique and the the um the magneto and charles xavier two pack and hopefully we see some more because i really would love to see uh more of these especially now that hasbro got the face printing tech and how well executed these figures are i want to see more and i don't mind them being a bit slightly bit higher price point having to pay for the new sculpts and everything i don't mind and the new packaging as well 
if they keep making them just as good as these, I'll happily <laughs> snap more of these up. These are absolutely excellent figures, and I hope we see more. And both of these figures are highly recommended, especially if you're a big fan of Wolverine like myself. These figures are exceptional. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this review. Please like, share, and subscribe, and bye for now.